Yeah, so like I reported before, y'all should thank Slime Life Shorty. So this was it, family. So now they working out a plea deal. Thug is about to come home, gang. It, that's what it is. Like, at the end of the day, Young Thug is about to come home. I'm about to play some footage for y'all. Y'all get in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But uh, Young Thug is on his way home, gang. You know, and um, a lot of things been taking place in this trial that's funky. You know, out of place. And definitely not among the Constitution. You feel me? So, a lot of things that they've been doing, this chick can, you know, get them sued. So, them asking for a plea deal versus, you know, some other things to take place because you got to think, he got money. He can come back and sue and want all that money back that he spent on this whole trial. You feel me? Because it was mishandled. You know, things of that nature. But um, y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know. I'm going to play the footage from the court. I'm also going to play some footage from Slime Life Shorty. You know, why? You know, the two things that he did yesterday could be the reason for this to even take place. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Yo, what's the word, gang? So, yeah, it's happening again. Slime Life Shorty. He might be the reason that Young Thug is free because of what took the place yesterday. So, the whole time... They gave him a piece of paper. The prosecutors gave him a piece of paper to read off for him. And some of the things that he read wasn't even supposed to be included in the case. Like, for example, a couple of hashtags, him saying that this person was free when they wasn't free, or were they implying that they wasn't free. You know, a bunch of different things that took place yesterday. So that's why they went for a mistrial and mistrial without pre with prejudice, without prejudice and with prejudice, you know, so the one without prejudice is off the table, if I'm not mistaken, and the one with prejudice is the one that they're going to talk about today at 9 a.m., you know what I'm saying, West Coast time, you know, which is 12 p.m. East Coast time, you know what I'm saying, Atlanta time, but this whole situation is crazy. It's definitely getting deep. It's like, you know, in Slam Life Shorty, the reason Young Thug about to be free over this testimony you know, uh, this guy, he was signed to OTF, signed a little dirt. You know, definitely was making a wave until they found out maybe a couple of years ago that he was going to testify in this case. That then turned his music career around, and it ain't been the same since then. But uh, dirty work. Prosecutors gave Slime Life Shorty a paper to read that included evidence that the jury wasn't supposed to hear. So keep in mind when y'all listening to the court today, and uh, what's going on but uh get in the comments and let me know what you think let me play this footage i don't remember is i don't it? remember when i met him and what is your relationship like if any with him now um let's talk about before now oh uh, we're cool are you still cool now uh i don't know him right now he's been locked up for a couple of years but i ain't supposed to say that how long have you known shannon Yes, those are my faces in the courtroom. As we've already established in this case, any witness mentioning any of the defendants having been in jail is prejudicial. It's not supposed to happen. And so it happens in that moment and everybody carries on. There's no motions, but then it happens again. And yes, those are my faces in the courtroom. As we've already established in this case, any witness mentioning any of the defendants having been in jail is prejudicial. It's not supposed to happen. And We're going to publish 37 and in. Who um, is in 37 and in? OG Boo. OG Boo. And who is that? Shannon. All right. And can you read for the jury the caption? Read his caption. Yes. It said, ain't, ain't nothing more compatible than a trench. A carbon while in the trenches. And then is there a hashtag? Hashtag. No slime left behind. Hashtag two Bs, life size. And is there another hashtag? Free Quay. What? Is there another hashtag on the screen? Oh, no. Your Honor. It's in this paper Your right Honor. here. You got me reading. Your Honor, I, need a, I have to make a motion. All right, I'm going to excuse I wasn't you. looking at the screen. I was looking at this. We're going to publish 37. The problem with what happened is that he said free Quay, which would imply that Quay is not free. And there was a prior agreement that that hashtag would be redacted. It was redacted on screen. It was not redacted in the physical copy that Wooney Lee had with him. And that's why he read it when attorney Hilton said, read the next hashtag. And just to kind of emphasize this point, prior to this, Wooney Lee had identified two Quays in the courtroom and that he called them 
Quay. The problem with what happened is that he said free Quay, which would imply that Quay is not free. And so there's a motion for a mistrial and Whitaker denies the motion for a mistrial with prejudice, but then asks if the attorneys are seeking a mistrial without prejudice. And that changes things. So I'm not playing no more clips from here. Just know that in the courtroom, it got real intense. It became really clear that this could happen. So the attorneys start talking, the defendants start talking, the, the state starts talking, everybody's talking. In the courtroom, we're all just waiting to see what's going to happen. Eventually, Judge Whitaker dismisses the jurors and says court is adjourned. And then the cameraman, Maurice, asks what time he should come tomorrow. To which Whitaker says 9 a.m., but we're probably not going to start at 9. So even I'm honestly just going to play it by ear. Also, a few more things before I go. Number one is being in that courtroom felt very different than watching this on a stream. I so there's a motion for a mistrial. Yo, what's the word, gang? So, Slime Life Shorty, he out here looking bad. Let's keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be in this street, dude. Proclaim, you know what I'm saying? Savage life. Slime life, you know what I'm saying? Slack gang type stuff, right? And, um, you know, we even know for having that song with Lil Dirt. That song is cold. It's raw. Don't get me wrong. But he went and took that stand today, y'all. And I'm going to play that footage. He took that stand. But he also goes on social media and responds to him taking that stand. He say, I ain't have to tell on nobody, duck, N-word. Every N-word that didn't like me only happy because that belt been off they behind. I can add both of you, duck, N-words. Make y'all remember, you N-words belong to Get Low Records because that's all you ever did. I can merch it. I'm chilling, though. I love you all. And, um... You know, he basically saying that ever since they've been having him in cooperations. He ain't been having that belt in them streets. And y'all know what that belt is, man. At this point in time, the internet is undefeated. We all know what that belt mean. But um, that ain't it, right? So he also goes to say, yeah, I'm home. I ain't have to snitch to get here, D-head. I admit it, Young Slime Life was a gang because it ain't illegal for no group to be a gang. Look it up. That don't hurt nobody. Anybody can be a gang. Plus, the founder already admitted to it, stupid. What I supposed to say if the founder admitted to it? What I didn't do was to say, yes, it's a fact. People in YSL commit crimes. That's what he said he didn't do. Was saying that it's a fact that people in YSL commit crimes. Now, I don't know, like, he just dropped this, you know, the, the this one was out 11 hours ago. This one right here was six minutes ago, you know, and um, he, he pretty much responded. He letting everybody know, trying to set the record straight that, you know, this is his stance on it. This is how he feeling. He just took that stand and said that they a gang, you know what I'm saying? And he don't feel that there's nothing illegal about there being a gang. Now... The problem is, is because that's what this whole case is built upon. That's what they trying to prove this every day since the YSL case started. They've been trying to prove that YSL is not a record label, but in fact, a gang. So him saying that and then the government trying to prove that and tying this RICO because this so-called record label but that's really a gang are using you know, financial proceeds to further the gang and criminal activities, whether it's beating people up, selling drugs, you know, putting hits out on people, et cetera, right? But um, y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm about to play that footage for you. Yeah.